Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a page to your Squarespace website and how to leverage all the best features of Squarespace as you start building. All right, the first thing is let's go into my demo website and I'm gonna click on pages. That might be obvious, but let's get down to some core pieces here. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is go to either main navigation or to the not link section. It does not matter where you start because you could easily just click and drag and move something into the main navigation or down to the not link section. From here, you'll click the plus sign. Now this plus sign gives you a ton of options. When you click it, you'll see a breakdown of all your options. Options. Truly, there's just blank page, different collection types, and then member site. Those are the different types of pages you could create, like a drop down and a link. Those are just for your navigation. Scheduling, I don't know if that's a specific page. Maybe it is. I don't know. Page layout is just a layout of a specific page, so it's not a big deal. And you could use all those same layout stylings once you start a page, so not a big deal. But we're just gonna start with a blank page. Now, again, if you're starting a blog, you're gonna need to start with a blog, but in this case, we just want to build a blank page. So in here, we're gonna call this our sales page. Just for example, let's just start with that. From here, you could see, you could start to customize the page. Once it's built, you'll see it's selected, so you'll know you're on the right page. And then from there, you can click edit. Then you'll click add section. Now there's a lot of different things you can do here. First and foremost, you could add a blank section, which basically just gets you started with the core editor. You could start adding blocks. So if you wanna add text, and then you want to add, say, an image, you can do that, and then just start dragging it around, move it as you like, build whatever you want. From there, you could hit add section as well, and you could also use save sections. I love save sections because if you build something you love on another page, well, you could save it and then reuse it throughout your website. So here, I really like this section, and I'm gonna add it here to this site. I'm gonna actually move it up. You'll see I just clicked that arrow, moved it up, and now it is the main section. We're gonna call this sales page intro because it's a title of the page and then we do want to add a button here because that's going to really make this an actual sales page so for example we just started there and then we just continue building and you could build out any section you want how you like i really love our scale creative wireframes this is what i use to start any website i build and i have 70 pre-built sections that i can use on my sites so these are headers that you can use anything that you just wanna start with. Then we go into some other sections about sections, and then we go from there. There's a little bit of formatting I need to do for some of these because I adjusted the fonts, but that's no problem because it's pretty easy to do once you get started. And if you're interested in that, check out the first link down below. But let's get back to building our page. Now, once we start designing the page and we love what we have, we'll build out a few sections, whatever we like. Well, from there, we do want to adjust mobile. And you'll see this blue little dot, which basically says you may have some elements that are not showing up in the right place. With Squarespace, your desktop view and your mobile view can be organized differently. Let me explain. I'm gonna click on the mobile view and you'll see here, there's some things I wanna work on. First and foremost, the spacing's a little funny for this section, so I'm gonna move this up. Thankfully, the button showed up right below, so I'm gonna put this here, and because it's mobile, I'm just gonna drag it across. It has this fill feature on. If I click here, you'll see design, fit, or fill. Because it's fill, it is filling the space, and I really like that. I also like that the image shows up below and not above. When I have a section break, I'll skip one row. If I click G on my keyboard, there's one row right here. So you'll see how these are right on top of each other, but then there's one space there. Okay, I'll click out of that. And then I will want to minimize this wasted space here because I just want it to end at the bottom of the section. Now, I really like how this looks, how it feels. If I wanted to organize this differently and for some reason put this above, I can do that. And if I go back to desktop, you'll see it looks exactly the same as we left it. So you'll need to go through all of your sections and make those adjustments and customizations to your liking. Here, I didn't really add any text or anything, so we'd have to work on that, finalize that. But once we do that for all the desktop and mobile, we are good to go. The page is ready to go live. So I'll hit save, I'll exit. And then because it's in my not link section, maybe I do wanna drag it up here into my main navigation. And maybe I don't. So we could play with that, but you could see here it shows up as sales page. I'm gonna actually drag it back down 
and put it into the not linked. I'm going to click the settings wheel. And if it is a true sales page, I will actually get rid of the header and footer because that would be more of a sales page experience where I can then control all the content, how it lays out and what people see. And if you need any more tips or tricks, definitely check out other videos I have. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.